Conjuring 2 is the set, the sequel to the most successful The Conjuring. It came out a couple years ago, directed by James Wan. This one also has James Wan. We are continuing another case now with the Warrens, played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. And now we get to see, you know, a new chapter of how they have dealt with their cases in the past. You know, in the last one, we got a little bit of how they were feeling in previous stories that we never got in films. And now this one kind of takes... They're getting the effects of that last film. Now they gotta go to England because there's this other new case with this girl who she thinks she's being haunted. They gotta go check if she, they're faking it, the family, or if it's all true. And if you've seen the last one, guys, you know kind of the idea of this film is. And the last one was so great. It really was scary. It just gave you moments of chills. It gave you moments of, of frightening. That's even a word, I don't know. This one, I feel like... It's not better than the first, but it's still good, a good, scary film. As to the other one where it was a great film, this one's a great horror film. It's better than a lot of dog shit horror films that have been out this year. I'm going to start off with what is, you know, the star of the film. That is James Wan. James Wan knows how to craft the film. He knows how to direct, you know, the suspense in the film to get the frightening images. You know, you kind of wonder... Where's the next, you know, scare going to come out? Is it going to be here, here? He shoots it in a way where you feel so uncomfortable, so uncertain. And his direction for horror is so unique. He tries, you know, he tries to one-up of what he did in the past, whether it's this movie, last movie. He is such an amazing director at this, you know, department of films. He knows his way around to just, you know, getting the best out of you. And he does so well fleshing out characters, you know. A good horror movie needs to have good characters we can relate with or support or sympathize. You know, with the warrants or with this family that is going with these paranormal activities going around. You know, if you don't care, then you just don't care of this film. You don't care what happens to it. But if you, you know, built up their relationships, their chemistry, character, you're going to want to root for them. You're going to want to be, you know, you're going to want to make sure they're going to be all right. You, and that is the best way to get the chills out of you, the scare. Because, you know, you can relate to them. And this movie did a good job of getting the chills out of me getting the, getting the chills the scares um, the the unsettling nerves Ugh. there's just this wonderful relationship going around and then a wonderful siblings going around where you know you can relate to how you want to take care of the rest of the people and defend those that you know are trying to cause a disturbance and these frightening images that we get they're so scary james wan is doing a good job you know creating these characters for each of his films and you know giving them some kind of like just terrible presence like my god you feel when you see what they have to go up against you're like my goodness and i thought there was also some elements i feel like it was a little bit like baba dukish or lights out like getting some influences from that and like it looks like it was gonna somehow share the same universe with like lights out or something since james wants producing that so i just wanted to say that also that you know, kind of give me feelings of that. Like, I've seen the Bobby Duke. That one was good. Lights out. I don't know. I hope that one turns out to be good, too. I just feel like there's a little bit elements of that in this film as well. I will say, though, it dragged a little bit. Maybe you could have cut down 10 to 15 minutes, I think. We had a great beginning, great middle. The ending is perfect, too. It doesn't suffer. It's not a terrible third act. I just feel like there were some things going on. I'm like, yeah, there's some things here that's too much, and... You know, I was already frightened. I was already scared. We didn't need this. That was just over the top. I'm like, eh, I'm kind of not scared with this. I'm like, what's going on? But still, like, overall, this film just succeeded to, you know, give you the chills. And you just, you just care what's going on. And you want, you just want things to get better. Guys, I'm going to have to get The Conjuring 2 a B. Yes, overall characters are relatable the the frightening imagery is just there to you know really scares you it's very creative and that's my review for the conjuring 2 did you guys love it did you hate it which of do you guys prefer of these two films let me know in the comments below if you're a frequent visitor thank you for returning if you're new to this channel like subscribe comment share and as always will an empire laugh smile repeat